Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install mods on Melon Playground. It's actually not that difficult at all, so let's just get started. Alright, so to get mods, you're going to need four things. You're going to need Melon Playground, obviously. You're also going to need Discord and have an account created on Discord. You're also going to need this app here called Zarchiver. You can just download in the Google Play Store. And finally, you're going to need an Android phone iPhone, I believe, does not come with the file manager option in Melon Playground, so we won't be able to add mods. So the first thing we want to do is have the Melon Playground app open, and then we want to click on the Discord icon here in the top corner. This should then take us straight to the Discord app, where it'll ask us if we want to join the Melon Playground official server. We want to click on Accept Invite. On the side here, you'll want to click on the Melon Playground icon, and then click on the Please Read channel with the exclamation points. And then at the bottom, down here where it says you must complete a few more steps before you can talk, you want to click on that arrow. You'll then want to make sure the email connected to this Discord account is verified. And then make sure you read all these server rules, and then you can click this box and hit complete. Doing that just gave you access to the workshop channels where you'll be able to download your mods from. Okay, so first I'm going to scroll down here and take a look at this workshop beta. So right now Melon Playground is currently reworking their workshop page to make it easier for you to download mods. Before, it used to be pretty difficult to download mods. As you can see, we can go to the normal workshop page, and you can see it's just a text chat. And as you can see in the workshop beta channel, it's much more organized. You can even click this tags button in the top corner and really filter what you're looking for. Now, if you're watching this video a couple months or a year after it was uploaded, they may have changed this to just become the regular workshop page and there won't be any workshop beta. All right, so let's begin downloading some mods. Alright, so I just scrolled down and found the Strikers Weapons Pack, and this is what I want to download. So I'm just going to click on it, then scroll to the top of the page, and then I'm going to click on the Striker Weapons Pack V1 zip file. But the thing with downloading zip files on Discord is that it'll have this pop-up saying that it's potentially a dangerous download. So my recommendation would be to only download zip files that have a lot of likes and comments. So that way you know other people have downloaded this and used it and that it's safe to use. And that's what's so good about this new workshop page is that all the most liked stuff is filtered to the top. So I'm just going to hit continue to download for this one. Alright, so I'm going to go back and also download a mod that's not in a zip file. Alright, so I just found another mod here that looks good to download. So this eva01.mel mod is a singular mod, unlike the last mod pack we downloaded, which was a zip file that had multiple mods inside of it. So with these singular mods like this one, you only want to download them if they end with .melmod or .melsave. And this one ends with .melmod, so I'll download it. Alright, so with those two mods downloaded, let's get them in our game. What you'll want to do is click on File Manager. And then you want to go click on Downloads in the top corner. Alright, so I just scrolled down to the bottom of this page and found these two mods I downloaded. And all we need to do to add them to our game is click on them and then click copy to mods. So I'm going to do that with both of these. If one of your files ends with .mel save, you want to copy that to saves. Okay, so if you copied a zip file to mods, now is where we have to go into the Zarchiver and find that mods folder. All right, so to find our mods folder, we have to first click on Android. Then we need to click on data. And then you want to scroll down until you find com.27.melonplayground. Click on that, then click on files, and then click on mods. Next thing you'll want to do is click on your zip file, and then click on extract here. Alright, so let's go back into Melon Playground one last time and finish this up. Alright, so you want to head back into your file manager, and then click on mods. And then click on that folder that you just extracted. And then you want to click on all of these different mods that you have and copy them to mods. And then now if we click on play, we should have all of our mods in game. As you can see, we have that EVA01 character. Then if we go to guns, there's that striker pack I downloaded. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if this video helped you, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Have fun.